Hey, Coach Abel here, the Able Body Experts, and I'm uh, part two or part three of um, explaining plyometric training and the reason we use it, uh, the reactive training emphasis. And basically, the goal of plyometric training is to increase explosive power, and that has two components, one of which is starting strength. And starting strength is maximum instantaneous fiber recruitment. And a good analogy for that is like turning on a light switch. And the other part of explosive strength is using those recruited fibers till they're no longer needed. So that is uh, be the equivalent to keeping the lights on while you're in a room. It's a, a narrow analogy, but it's still an effective one. So basically, what's, what plyometric training is designed to do is this is the strength curve of force and time. It's designed to move from the eccentric to the static to the concentric phase and produce instead of that little line which is typical of most people to produce more of this check mark effect so that the reactive reactive from the eccentric to the reactive power is much more right angled so that's what plyometric is designed to do it's a little bit scientific but I want people to start understanding these terms instead of using the uh, catchphrases for like core and plyos and not understanding what they're designed to do. So they have a specific application in this sense plyometrics designed to increase starting strength which is the transition from eccentric to static to concentric maximum instantaneous fiber recruitment and this has been a coach em up on the scientific side.